Jesus Christ, I can't even see the fight because the environment is blocking my view. Oh. My. God. I have no words. Brutal Legend Above the Claw is seriously an unbearable mess of a fighting game and possibly the worst fighting game I've ever played. This is a game for the Sega 32X. And although the graphics use the 32-bit uh, engine of the 32X, they still suck. There is absolutely no redeeming value about this game. Everything about it is bad, and let me get into it right now. And when I say this is possibly the worst fighting game ever made, I'm talking about a game made by a major game developer, or at least a professional game developer. Obviously, some 16-year-old who makes a Flash game and it totally sucks could, could possibly worse, be worse than this, but I don't count those type of games. Now, uh, I don't even know where to begin. There's literally a cornucopia of awfulness. Uh, I guess let's just start with the obvious thing. Let's start with the graphics. If you just saw a screenshot of this game, you might think this is a pretty good uh, uh, fighting 2D fighting game. The graphics are pretty okay, at least, uh, but they aren't. Everything moves too fast, the hit detection is awful, and um, basically, the graphics ruin the game because they, they ruin the hit detection. Everything is just like a few frame rates. Like I, I'm not sure how many, I didn't count, but like how many frame rates are in a jump or, or in a kick? I, I would suffice to say it's like two or three or less, you know. And and because of that, uh, everything is fast, but the hit detection is also completely ruined. Like if you jump up and try to hit from the air, you'll basically n almost never hit the enemy. Like, that was my main attack in games like Mortal Kombat, at least in the beginning few stages. I'd jump up and kick the enemy from the air. You literally cannot do that here and to the enemies, and the enemies here are cheap. They are cheap. The few enemies you'll be able to beat, at least in, in career mode, uh, they are incredibly cheap. They, they spam the same attack over and over. Take the first enemy here in the story mode. All he does is shoot fireballs at you non-stop. It's the cheapest thing in the world. And basically any attack you hit him with, he blocks it 90% of the time. The, this game is incredibly hard. It, it, I mean, this, this is the first level, that you're, what you're looking at right now. I'm getting my ass kicked in the first level. The first level is insanely tough. In fact, every level is insanely tough. And really, the only clear-cut way to beat this game is to be cheap, just like the computer. The problem is, you cannot possibly be as cheap as the computer. My cheapest tactic that I found is to duck down and just hit the legs and just always sweep the legs, Johnny. But unfortunately, it doesn't always work because everything's too fast. The second you get into a nice groove of trapping the enemy in the corner and just constantly sweeping their legs and making them fall over, it just jumps over you. It's very easy to escape for the enemy. And then the enemy just blocks every other attack, basically. Honestly, the only way to fight in this game is to be cheap. It's not even about being cheap because, precisely because, <laughs> basic leg sweeps are the only attack that isn't blocked 90% of the time. The sound effects in this game are horrendous. I have no idea what they were thinking, and they're annoying too because they're being repeated over and over. It's like every time you hit, it's some stupid fucking anthropomorphic animal noise. You know, it's always the same thing, and it's just non-stop stupid noises. Every time you make a movement, every time you press a button, there's some kind of retarded noise, and it's incredibly annoying, but not half as annoying as the actual gameplay, which is unbearable. This game is way too hard. The first level should be like the second to last level in any other fighting game. I have no idea what they were thinking. The only semi-redeemable thing about this game is in the actual story mode, uh, the game goes by in a pretty cool fashion. It's like 
like a real career. Like you have wins and losses on your record, and after each fight, it tells you like how many different kicks and punches and different moves you landed, and also you gain um, ranks, you gain martial arts ranks, like different belts as you beat your 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 competition, and also you learn new moves, but. Good luck actually beating the competition be because the game is so insanely, unforgivingly impossible to play and impossible to beat after the first two, three, or... Well, hell, try to beat the second <laughs> second enemy. Yeah, just try to beat the second level, you know? This, I mean, you have to be really obsessive, compulsive to get any further than, like, the third stage in this game. And even then, it's gonna take you so many tries. And th the only way to beat every single enemy is just to be cheap. Every single enemy is basically the hardest thing you'll ever fight in your life. You're fighting every single enemy in this game is like fighting Mike Tyson and Fedor in their prime at once. With your hands tied behind your back. And all the stuff I mentioned isn't even the worst thing in the game. The worst thing in the game, and this is inexcusable for any fighting game, ALL THE FUCKING BUTTONS DO THE SAME THING! A button, kick or punch depending on the enemy. B button, kick or punch depending on the enemy. C button, kick or punch depending on the enemy. The other three buttons, kick or punch, it's the same thing! Every button you press, the same exact attack happens most of the time. I mean, seriously! Is this the Atari where it only has one button and it, it has to be the same attack? I mean, seriously, in 32X, you, you have six attack buttons on, on, a, on a 32X on the Sega Genesis controller and... Oh, oh, I mean, your, your brain has to explode here! Even after you learn some new moves! It's still the same thing! A button, punch! B button, punch! C button, punch! And you have like this giant variety of different characters and it's the same thing on every character! Every character basically only needs one button to fight! And you know what? You don't even need a lot of different attacks because even if you have different attacks even when you learn new moves, and even if you're able to execute them somehow, they're gonna be worthless because the only good attack in this game is to sweep the goddamn leg! Because every other attack will be blocked 90% of the time! God damn it! <sighs> Why was this made? It's the most frustrating, the hardest, the most awfulest. I, I know that's not a word, but god damn it, this game sucks. Thanks for watching and good day. Oh, and there's a new, it came from Public Domain, with uh, myself, Andrew, Silent Rob, and A. Salieri. Link to that movie in the uh, description below. Toodles! God damn, a fox fighting a wizard dog. Ugh.